Alright, I am back. Hello, everyone. This is Kadash. One of the most fun games in Turbo Graphics I've had the pleasure of running into. Yes, Light Force is a better game than Gradius 1. 100%. Set my timer. We're gonna be playing as the ninja, who's easily, I mean easily, the best character in the game. Um, there's no number, so... Let's just put Archie down. Right. Let's go. Uh, my controller for the turbo graphics is actually pretty broken, so I'm not gonna be able to be using turbo here, unfortunately. That's okay. Oh, <clears throat> Alright, so as you can see, I have health and magic points down there, and I'm not gonna use any magic as a ninja. The ninja has by far the best speed in the game. I mean, by far. <laughs> it's just graphics! Like, the ninja is. Uh, so fast. You'll, you'll see the ninja. A nice thing about this game is your speed actually goes up as you level. So you'll see, you'll see a big difference here shortly. Um, but, uh, yeah. So we do get levels. It does have an RPG atmosphere to it. It's working design style. So, let's so we'll continue. We do need to grind a little bit. Okay, so in Kadash, you have no continues. There's no continues in this game. And you only have one life, so if you die, that's it. So we're gonna take a, a, a moment here to raise up to three, which I would say do anyways, because it helps with the strength. As you can see, it only takes one hit now, so the ninja's strength is going up. The ninja also has all ranged weapons, which is clearly a huge advantage. Right. So now look at the ninja move. Quite a bit faster going over here, and it will get faster. <laughs> and that ninja, yeah. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna take some damage boost in here. Because these are kind of just not in a good position to hit anyway. Let's see. Oh no, that's it's okay. So we're going to come up to the first boss here. This is your starter boss. Go blob. Oh, what are you going to give me the crap pattern? That's not good. You are giving me like one of the worst patterns I've ever had. Holy. I'm going to die. Oh my god. I've never had that pattern before, so that was really confusing. Alas, we made it. Oh, actually, no, I wouldn't have died. I had a, uh... Alright, so you, sing, you saw me, uh, pick up an herb in the beginning. Uh, how medical herbs and healing items work in this game is that when you get to zero health, they just automatically use, you don't get an option to use them. Uh, all ends heal your health, so I'm taking a second to go here. And then we're gonna we're gonna show off the first skip. And we're gonna skip the first weapon shot because we really don't need it. But we are gonna go into the item shop here. We are going to fill up on medical herbs. And get up to eight. And five, six, seven. So we should have eight now, yep. Yeah. And we're gonna get four antidotes, which also, if you get poisoned, they just automatically use them. That's how item usage in this game works. It's a little weird, especially for a game that's considered with RPG elements and it does not have a, an RPG menu or anything like that, but it just be the way it be. So the normal quest here would be go to left there, but we're going to go down here. And you notice the water hurt me. 
for whatever reason, your character can't swim? Or something of that matter? The water's dangerous? Now you're gonna look at some of the speedy tech in here. Damage boosts in this game are insane. So you can really make up some ground with it. So, but that... What that is supposed to be for is a way to get back to the first village faster, but we basically just shortcut through a significant portion of the early game. And we're going to get our first weapon here. Significant upgrade over our previous weapon, though it does get much better. And the reason the ninja is also great is the last boss, the, the, the final weapon the ninja gets, is so wonderfully powerful in the last boss. Alright, so we're gonna have the biggest grind part of this entire run by quite a long shot. It won't really take that long, but we need levels here. There's a way you can skip in this area to the, ne to the next part, but see these rocks? <laughs> they come after you if you run away. They have a weird, very weird mechanic. Again, we're way low level for this point in the game, so we really need some levels. We need some strength boosts here more than anything. We also boost our speed, though. Now, there's one herb. That's fine. Me using herbs here is not a big deal. There's actually a shop nearby. I'm gonna show up. We're level 6 now. We want to get up to level 9. Level 9 is a lot safer. And again, it really doesn't take too long. And there is a shop nearby. Which I'm going to be playing full safe here. This game can be very mean. With the one life and that's it. Very, very difficult. But honestly, you can just grind any player in the game like this to make it a lot easier on yourself. And try all the different characters, of course. There's a lot of gold characters in this game. It's just the ninja's the most overpowered one. There's two herbs gone. This is a part where the turbo button helps uh, immensely. <laughs> and, uh, Trying to time out the button presses and talk at the same time can sometimes turn me off. I'm just going to use backup strats at the moment. But this is where Turbo would effectively save you some frames on the speed and all that. We're about to hit level 8 here in a second. And level 9 is um, much shorter than between 7 and 8 for some reason. So we'll be at level 9 shortly and then we'll go to the shop and then we'll go to the boss in this area. There's a ton of skips in this game that were found out to, to cut time, which is honestly amazing. Like, the speedrun for this is pretty stellar. The world record time. I think so stylish. And... Nope, not yet. Also, the money we gain here is, is pretty important on a regular run. I'm gonna show off where there's an item spot where you can get full money, just for the heck of it, in a little bit. But it's important to have. It's important to have. There. Uh, this over here is a life bell. It, it permanently raises your hit points if you get it. Um, we shouldn't need any of those, but... Again, this is another spot where you can just grind as safely as you want with as much money as you want and, like, hit tons of those and keep raising your hit points. Um, you can't necessarily heal anywhere, uh, but... Or, like, heal on your own anywhere, but once you reach an end, you'll get the... And now you'll notice the damage boost I just took was significantly less. Um... But it's because once you hit a certain level threshold in the game, you don't get those super boosts anymore. There's one medical herb. That boost 
over here. Two medical orbs. Three. Remember, we have five more. Gotta keep that count. Don't have an item menu or anything. Look at it. This worm boss is kind of a nuisance. It's random whether he just wants to attack. Between one and four cycle. That was one of the worst ones I could have had. There we go. And there's the boss. Alright, we got the thread, which will help us get to the next area. Still five, uh, candidates. Four eggs. with four antidotes, we could probably just make it to the next village without going back to the shop, so we should be okay there. But we kill these giant rock potatoes for lots of delicious experience, and then we get out of here. Uh, those little spiders you saw earlier, they have those webs that stick to your legs. That's actually how you get boosted into the next area. You don't level up to nine in the speedrun here. Then you get to like five or six, and then you get a spider to hit your legs, and then you have some damage boost from here up there. They're, they're really cool boosts in the speedrun. Hey there, I am. Alright. Got past that area. Uh, yeah, these things still hurt like hell. The spiked monsters. Um, they can poison you as well. Alright, so we have three uh, things left here. Here's an optional boss. You can actually go past this boss. Two left. One antidote left. Okay, we're gonna come down here. We're gonna drop an item. That item I just got is an elixir. And what elixirs do is they work just like medical herbs and they take priority. So the next time I go to zero health, it'll actually give me full health. One of the best items in the game. Probably the best item. This is Kadash for the TurboGrass 16. It's on the left side of the screen for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> uh, this is another thing you take a damage boost off of in the speedrun. You get higher, faster, faster. You just jump up there and boost up there, which is nice. Waiting there actually cost me, because now I'm going to get hit by all this. But as you can see, now that I'm recovered and at level 9, I have well more hit points than I did before. <laughs> Alright, so we snagged this flower, which is what we needed to go into the next village here. As you can see, the village has a lot of smaller houses, because the villagers here are shorter in size than we are. So we shrink to their size so we can chill out in their village. Which means the rest of this game you actually play as a smaller version of yourself. So we grabbed our first upgraded armor here. It will change the color of our armor. But definitely needed. <laughs> I've tried to go not without the armor here and you just get abused in the next spot. It's, it's not good. Since we took all that extra damage earlier, we're just going to take a nice quick in-visit here to get our health back. As you can see we have 3,900 caches now. We're going to spend a lot of that coming up in the next item shop. It's right here. You can see there's a door on the left side of the screen. We're going to fill back up on medical herbs. Silver key, get them on a cache there. And that and that silver key opens this door and into uh, the next area. Some cool visuals in the, coming up here. Very grotesque. Very neat. Uh, that's Abel's grave. Remember that from later. Alright, so we got some lightning striking down here. You can take a boost. Speedrun does. It's weird I'd take one to show it off, but I'm de definitely saving health here. Oosh! 
Get out of my way! Why, sir, how dare you? You can see the dog is still there. Remember that for later as well. Oh, look at this. Look at this little secret over here. What's, what's this? We got the amulet and dragon? We now have full money. <laughs> So that's one herb. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Take too much time to actually break them down before they just respawn again. But man, we should be okay on that. That shouldn't be a an issue. My problem is herbs. You have to go all the way back to the previous place to get more medical or This fine jumping. Another little secret pathway here. This one's actually a key pathway. Right. We're almost to the town here. There we go. Alright, we are in town. Of course, there is a delightful inn here, which we're definitely going to use. For sure. Right. We get our best weapon here by a long shot, and we upgrade our armor again. This item goes through enemies, which is why it's just so nice. And you'll see why it's so good on the later bosses. So we need to go in here, talk to this NPC. Remember Abel's grave? She's, she can't get to the grave to leave this charm for her. A remembrance. It's very sad. So we're gonna go do it for. <laughs> Keep it all though. Getting a little extra experience here. There we go. No, I wasn't too far off of level 10. Figured I'd just get it. It'll make my defense a little better, so if I get hit, I'm gonna take some more damage. See, as I don't get the lightning boost anymore. I can now chain these enemies with this thing. Beautiful. Here's the grave. We place the charm. You hear Abel talk. And for the gratitude, you get um, this pendant. Where you can talk to animals like Dr. What's-His-Name. Hmm, what doctor would that be, huh? What doctor would that be? Do you do? <laughs> What's up, Doc? Doctor. Alright. Here. Oh, there's the poison. Okay, you see the skin turn purple? There's the item used. You can understand me? I name is Reen Tin. What's that a reference to? Let's see if y'all know that reference. If anybody already knows that reference, then I've already brought this up before. Who are you? Who are you? That's the thief we saw earlier. Who becomes the most ripped demon of all time. You hear all that chain damage that's happening there? It's beautiful. It's beautiful! Yep. So ideally, RNG-wise, you really don't want these flames to come hit you, because they'll knock you out of your position when you're hitting the boss. You can three-cycle this boss, but you gotta kind of this is an amazing video game. Oh, I was actually going to hit short there. 
of the three cycle. Alright, so we got the magic flute. What that does, as you saw there, it made that bridge spawn, which is going to lead us to the end of the game now. So let's go to the end of the game. Let's go. Zombies out the way. I had, I had to stay quiet for that. I love the way the flute sounds. <laughs> I love the little tuna plays. Alright, we are in the last castle now. I don't want to get hit by those because they're poisonous. That is why I went out of my way to avoid that one. Alright, we're going to take a little shortcut, or not shortcut, we're going to take a, a little side path here to get an item. That is another elixir. So if you're worrying about us being this low on health with, uh, oh Jesus, with, uh, with just herbs available, fear not. I'm also going to pick this one up. Oops. Hello? What? Why are you doing this? Are you not going to let me get up there again? Why do you have to be so friggin' specific for this jump? This is the problem. It's not even like... There we go. Oh, no! Are you... Why do you keep falling? Jeez. Just want to get the life bell to get eight more health. <laughs> Anyways. Now that that nonsense is over, let's continue. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, we're actually going to take a bonus level here. This skeleton's really easy to kill and worth good experience, and level 11 is a good uh, point to be good defensively and offensively for the rest of the game. Of course, you can get upwards to, I think, level 20, I think, is the top level, 20 or 30, which would be insane. I can't even imagine a full level ninja would move so fast it'd be hard to control him. So, FLCL, thank you. What a great video game. I love this game. Get a nice little boost from the dragon there. Let's see the return of one of our old friends here in a second. Hey, remember that jelly in the beginning? Yeah, it's gone. Not, not too much of a threat anymore. It was nice to it to show back up. Of course, I rescued the princess. She's like, yo, help my father out. And you're like, all right, fine, fine, fine. Here's another one of these messes. Turbo belt. There we go. So we got another life belt, but that is not the only thing here. There we go. So I got another elixir there. So now we have another elixir as a backup and still plenty of health. Here. Take a nice boost here. Mm -hmm. Please 
don't do that, Mr. Tree. Uh, to the left there is the last shop in the game, but the ninja doesn't have anything in it. The warrior definitely has the most in that shop, for sure. <laughs> Holy moly. Alright, we made it through the doors. We're still here chilling. But what we got there was the gold key, and um, in the beginning of the castle, you might have seen the gold door. It's um, pretty much right in the beginning. We're going to be heading towards now. Good music in this game. It's just a super fun game in general. Uh, and, and you got your replay value with your different classes and such. Always makes it a good time. I like the wizard a lot with his ridiculous auto-aim spell he gets at his, his uh, final level. Or his final spell here. In. Super powerful. Alright, so this was the gold door I was talking about. So we're right there. Really good RNG. Not the best, but really good stuff. Oh, we almost had it last time. Dang, it was one hit short. I almost had a three cycle on, which is really good. That was a really good RNG for that boss. No, all things considered. Alright, so the, the refights are done. Now we have E! You hear that, like, machine gun sound? That, those are all considered different hits. But you can only get it if you time your hits right. Alright, I think we got him. No, maybe not. Him over there. Yep, we got him. Very nice, very nice. One. GG. Let's go to the talk to the king. See what he thinks. Something terrible's happened. Oh, there's a monster? What are you talking about? We just won! Wait, that's not her real father? Oh my god. He was strong to survive. And they bring up Carl Sagan for some reason. Here's another reason why this weapon is so powerful. So as long as this boss is getting hit, it will not shoot at you. <laughs> That's the last boss. <laughs> That's why that weapon is so friggin' powerful. So good on the last bosses. Alright, that is officially GG there. And that is it for my block of games here. Some of my favorite games of all time. This one was more about my love for the Turbo Graphics in general. Probably the fa my favorite game of the Turbo Graphics, but I like I just like to mention how good the Turbo Graphics is. Lots of great games on it. 